most of my videos in what I'm calling my Python Toolbox series. I'm calling it the Python Toolbox because it's aimed at people first learning to program. And my idea is that you treat the techniques you learn in a programming language as tools and that you learn over time to apply them in practical situations and develop your skills with these tools so that you're able to complete bigger and better tasks as you go on. So without further ado, let's have a look at the interface that we're using here. I'm in replit.com at the moment. It's a free interface that you can sign up for, but you can follow along with this tutorial if you're using some other different kind of Python interface, it should be no problem. So if we start by taking a look at what we've got on the screen here, this is where you're going to write your code. And over here on the right is where you're going to see the results of your code appear. And the very first thing you're going to want to learn how to do is output something to the console over here. So to do that, you use what's called a print command. Now, one of the first things you're going to have to learn as you learn to program is about something called syntax. And syntax, as we see here, is one of the first things we learn. It means the rules of a programming language. If something has invalid syntax, it will not run. Now, I've deliberately got invalid syntax on all the lines here. And you can see that if I go to run it, what happens is we get an error and it says it's a syntax error. It tells us what line it is. You've got to really become friends with these error messages if you're going to go a long way in programming. The thing is, they look complex at first, but you'll start to get the hang of how they give you hints as to what's gone wrong. Now, actually in this one, the print command must have a lowercase p when we first start. So that was what was wrong with the first line. The rest of the syntax for it is that we're then gonna have brackets around everything we wanna print, and then we can print strings. So this is the first thing we're gonna learn about, and a string is a piece of text between some speech marks. And they can be single quotes or they can be double quotes, that actually doesn't matter. So if I try to run it now, what actually happens is it still says, oh, we've got, a, we've got a, a syntax error, but it's now on line two rather than on line one. So we're gonna fix that up as well. It's missing brackets on this line. And on the last one, you might be able to spot down here that there's a little red arrow and it's trying to point out to me that I've forgotten something. And what I've forgotten here is the speech marks. Now, when I go ahead and run that, you can see over here that we've got our output of what we've typed in appearing in the console over to the side here. Now, the whole idea of this course is that you'll watch these short videos where I'll run through a technique like I have just now with the print statement, and then you'll go along and you'll be able to come to my Replit account and you'll be able to fork my REPL, which means that you'll get a copy of it. And you'll see the answers are available as well. But the first one you're going to go to is you're going to come to my replit, which is just replit.com slash at Steph Goff. And then you're going to click over here and you would click fork. I'm just going to go into it and show you what it is. So you can see that it's just loading up here. They close down and then they load up when you open them up. There's nothing to worry about there. Up the top here, what I've done here, and this is another important thing to learn, by putting a hash, this is a comment. You don't need to remove it. You can just go to the next line and start typing up your code. It's best to leave it there because basically what I've done is put the instructions of what I want you to do there. Now, in general, it is traditional to start with the command, hello world, that's the first thing that you output. But I'm not a traditionalist, so you can write any three print statements of your choice. All right, off you go, try that challenge, and then come back and have a look at the next video where we'll be having a look at variables.